Hi, everyone. Welcome to Coffee with the Consultants. I'm Yang Sandoval. And I'm Stephanie Essex. And we are social emotional consultants at the Starfish Academy. Uh, so today, what we wanted to talk about um, is the importance of nutrition and healthy eating. Um, and first off, I just wanted to um, give you guys a little bit of resource um, that we have found. Um, so this is called How to Get Your Kids to Bake for Veggies. Um, and this is a book where I, I found it on Amazon. You can either buy a hard copy or you can um, just download it on your Kindle. Um, I believe it's around eight or nine dollars, so it's not too bad, but there's a whole bunch of great recipes in here. They're quick, they're easy, there's some gluten-free, dairy-free, and also paleo selections. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys what I made today. I made my own smoothie. Um, and you know, this is for great for kids, it's great for adults. And what I have hidden in, hidden in here is um, I have a lot of greens in here. You can't even tell. Um, and it's delicious, yeah. it's tasty. Um, and if you even want to add some fiber into it, I've added, um, I added a little bit of flaxseed in here too. Uh, so yeah, they're delicious, they're great. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to let everyone kind of know about the benefits too, you know, like when you're doing healthy eating, um, you know, it definitely really stabilizes um, your child's energy and also help them ma maintain like a healthy weight, um, you know, and so with this book, going back to this book, it's great to add some veggies into great recipes. Um, like I see there, there's pancakes, there's pie, uh, there's pudding, and I believe that you add the veggies in it and kids came and taste it. So it's awesome. Yeah, I love that. Actually, I um, went to visit my sister recently and she was talking about making smoothies and trying to encourage her child to actually get more protein, not just veggies. And mm -hmm. so talked about protein powder and how you can use protein powder um, to make pancakes and make other things. And so they're getting a little bit more protein in their food and they don't even know that that's mm -hmm. happening the same thing can happen with veggies you know things and cakes and breads can all have veggies added right in and it makes it delicious and the kids you know will eat it right up so I, I just love that and I think I like the whole idea of like flax and the chia seeds and you know you can always add lots of fiber and that's really helpful for kids yeah. you know this I, yeah this is what I do with my baby too I uh, make her you know like I use her yogurt and I actually put stuff in there too just so she doesn't know because sometimes you, I feel like she can really taste stuff and so I just kind of hide it in there too and it yeah. works um yeah and I also use her almost expired yogurt and I just added it into my yogurt oh, yeah <laughs> that's a really good idea yeah food, so yeah well uh, nutritious eating is really important for kids because it helps them improve their minds and it helps stabilize their mood and it also prevents mental health conditions like depression and anxiety. So I think it's really important. And also, I mean, you know, it helps kids that, you know, in the future as they grow into adults, you can get chronic illness from not eating healthy. And so I think it's also preventative for that. So there are just a lot of benefits. So thanks for sharing this book, Yang. I think that's really yeah. awesome. Yeah, definitely. As you know, as my daughter grows more, you know, grows up, I'm going to definitely use this book, um, you know, just so she can get, get all the nutrients that she can get. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Appreciate everybody joining us for Coffee with the Consultants. Um, next week, we wanted to talk about activities you can do at home that can include like movement and mindfulness. So we can't wait to share it with you. We'll see you next week. Bye.